In this letter, first of all, I mention why I wrote the book. Then I introduced several key points of the book. Firstly, continued development of science and technology will soon result in human extinction. It could take a century, or shorter, rather than centuries, for science and technology to wipe out the human race. So, we must take immediate measures to prevent mankind from extinction. Secondly, to avoid extinction of mankind, the development of science and technology must be strictly restricted. It is impossible in current society to strictly curb the development of science and technology. As a national society, the highest authority is the nation. One country may impose restrictions, but other countries may not. We cannot rely on the UN to limit the development of science and technology, as it is only an organization that coordinates various countries. The only way for such purpose is to work towards grand unification of mankind, utilizing the world power. Meanwhile, to restrict the development of science and technology does not mean to deny its functions to mankind. For well-developed and safe technological fruition, we should not only encourage their advancement, but also apply them all over the world to benefit mankind. When this work goes further, Mankind will definitely be well-fed and well-clothed. Humans cannot be too greedy.